This is the week when we interview all of the mayors around the region and Hamilton Mayor Andrea Horvath joins us this morning and and this is a very important um, segment because right now the city is dealing with a housing emergency and there is a very large encampment um, right outside City Hall yep. so you you can't miss it so so tell me what's going on this morning. Well, it's uh, the encampment's been there for some time. It continues to grow, uh, but there's starting to become some health and safety issues that are really uh, troubling and worrisome. So the policy that the city has uh, is that uh, we try to do our best to find uh, supports for people uh, to really take a, a more holistic view and, uh, and try to hook people up with services, uh, try to find shelter space, uh, try to find accommodations, uh, and do that in a in a more um, a humanitarian way, if you will, a more humane way. So that's what's happening now because the safety of the site has become, uh, you know, pretty problematic. Uh, but the problem is, is widespread. I mean, we have a serious emergency, as you said, on uh, on the homelessness front, on the mental health front, on the uh, uh, on the uh, opioid and addictions crisis, which is something that we've uh, that we've identified. We've called these things emergencies to sound the alarm bells, really, with mm -hmm. the other orders of government, because these are uh, pr our problems and concerns and and issues that it's going to take all of us together to fix. We we don't have the capacity to, to to actually address everything at the municipal level, so we're asking for the province and the uh, the feds to step up and help us. But it's not just Hamilton. It's London. It's Kingston. It's Ottawa. It's Toronto. I mean, it's every big city. I was talking to somebody uh, just the other day who said Welland is in really bad shape. And so it, it, it's, and these are people, these are people who need help, who need supports uh, and, and who we have an obligation to, uh, to help. Mm -hmm. So, so what happens? I, I know that bylaw has given them notice the, for the encampment at City Hall. So what happens when bylaw gives them a notice and, and takes them up? You say it's a humanitarian way of, of dealing with it, but I mean, is it going to be like other encampments where it's just things are bulldozed and things are removed? Well, that's not certainly not where we want to get. Uh, we're trying what we're trying to do is provide uh, assistance for people uh, to uh, to find another space. And hopefully some of that can be in in shelters or in uh, uh, transitional housing. Uh, we're trying to uh, make sure people get, have access to health programs, to social workers and those kinds of things. Uh, but but it's, it's really, it's really, it's difficult. I mean, mm -hmm. it's not, there's no easy solution here. There's no magic bullet. Uh, but what we wanna do is uh, avoid uh, situations where we have um, encampments that where people become even more ill or, or uh, exposed to uh, more drug overdoses or exposed to fires, fires and other uh, safety hazards. You know, we, we sometimes see propane tanks. We sometimes see, um, you know, there's uh, everything that happens kind of at large in a city uh, is can become very concentrated in a shelter, mm -hmm. in a, a homeless shelter. And so we, we need to that's why I say we need to take a holistic approach. It's 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 tragic what we're seeing on this. A lot of this got worse uh, after COVID, um, but we also need to have the other orders of government helping us uh, to find uh, the the more um, appropriate way to help people, uh, whether it's with Instead their mental of moving health, them along. with their yeah. mental health, with their housing, uh, with their housing stability, all of those pieces. Okay. Um, actually, on Friday, there was a priority meeting uh, with yes. council where you set the priorities for this new session and, mm -hmm. and housing tops the list. Housing and homelessness top the list, economic development, uh, sustainable and ecological uh, economic development, uh, trust in City Hall, all of those things were, were kind of um, the big picture. Having said that, we do a lot of amazing things at the city. And so all of the priorities that we have are not going to suddenly stop. Right. But these ones are going to get a little bit of extra attention. If there's an ability to have a little bit of extra focus on some of the things that need to be done in the more immediate term, these are the ones that we've identified. Okay. Uh, a touching focus on uh, former Hamilton Mayor Bob Wade. Mm -hmm. uh, Book of Condolence goes, uh, uh, is available today. Starting at, at nine, yeah. Yeah, starting at 9 a.m., there's the Book of Condolences at City Hall as well as in Ancaster at the uh, Old Town Hall there. Because he was the mayor of Ancaster for, for many years, yeah. yeah. Now, you were were you on council I when was. he was, and I, I just remember him as being the nicest man. He was a very, uh, he was a very sweet, even-keeled, calm person at a very tumultuous time. Mm -hmm. It was amalgamation. It was the first year of amalgamation, the year 2000. Uh, there was downloading coming from the provincial government that was also uh, really troubling and hard for us to handle. 
Uh, and he was exactly the right person at the right time. Yeah. He just was such a calm force. You know, he was very statesperson-like, you know, very, yes. just let's, we have a lot to deal with. We can get there. Everybody just <laughs> stay calm. Yes, okay. <laughs> so tributes for him as well. Thanks very much, Andrea, for coming My in. My pleasure.